In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a look-ahead looper in Ableton Live. The main advantage to a look-ahead looper is that I can play something interesting and then decide to loop it. The setup that I have here is pretty simple. I've got an audio track in Ableton Live that is producing audio. So in this case, I'm using machine. And that's the whole setup in Ableton Live. I need a MIDI controller also. Uh, just to get the loop button. In this case, I'm using MIDI Designer. Uh, any simple MIDI controller will work for this tutorial, and in future tutorials, we'll do things that we can only do in MIDI Designer. So let's get started with the setup. Um, the first thing I need is I need three tracks, and they are going to be called In, Looper, and Feedback and I'm going to group these tracks and I'm going to call the group looper one and I'm going to shut off all three tracks for safety and I'm going to change their monitor to in so they're constantly monitoring and now let's set up the routing the in track takes the routing from machine two and goes to the looper the looper track takes from feedback, input from feedback and audio to feedback, and the feedback track takes no input, and the output goes to the group, which is by default. Now that's all set up, and I'm ready to set up my actual loopers. I go to the looper track, and I bring in a simple delay, and I'm just going to change the delay times to be linked. I'm going to change them to 16, and I'm going to raise dry wet up to 100%, so 100% wet, and I'm going to duplicate this simple delay. That will give us two bars of looping, so we're completely set up except for the MIDI mapping. So uh, in MIDI Designer, I'm just going to set up a button, so I go into design mode, I add a button. Now this button by default is going to be a toggle and it's going to use a command change so that's all fine I'm just gonna hide the label and so we've got a button set up and if we're working in Ableton Live it will show in the top right which it does and now we're ready to map it so we enter MIDI mapping mode in Live and in the first track we map to the button second track we map to the button and third track we map to the button and this is the speaker on that we're mapping and then we go to the first one double click it and you see it shows up here in the MIDI mapping list and we're going to change its polarity to be 127 and 64 as opposed to the other way around this way the button will go backwards so get out of MIDI mapping mode and now when the looper is off the first track is activated of the three and when the looper is on the second two tracks are on but the first one is off now we're ready to try it out and see what happens <laughs> 